What does the American dream mean to you? Is it the pursuit of equal rights or is it a quest for financial prosperity? Let's delve into the exhilarating journey of Gabriel, a Mexican-American and a U.S. Coast Guard veteran. Born in America to Mexican parents, Gabriel straddles two worlds, navigating both cultural and financial hurdles. In a world yet to fully understand his diverse roots, Gabriel has done the unexpected. He's surpassed a financial benchmark that's quite astounding, the tune of $720 billion. Now, just to help you grasp the enormity of this, consider the current value of live streaming video. Gabriel's second patent is instrumental in this field, enabling live streaming from virtually any corner of the globe. This is the landscape of 2023, as we inch closer to 2024. Despite the challenges, Gabriel's story is a testament to the resilience of the American dream. Invention, they say, is the mother of necessity. And in the case of Gabriel, it's a mother that birthed billions. Gabriel's journey is one of innovation and perseverance. A U.S. Coast Guard veteran and a Mexican national, he carved his path in the tech world with a groundbreaking invention, wireless live streaming video. He presented a functional prototype to the United States Patent Examiner, a prototype that would revolutionize the way we consume media today. The patent granted was worth a staggering sum, billions upon billions of U.S. dollars. But Gabriel didn't stop there. A second child patent was secured, offering even more protection for his invention. This patent was thoroughly vetted by another examiner after 2020, broadening the scope of his invention. It's now held by TVKnowsYou.com, Inc., a testament to Gabriel's foresight and innovation. But here's where the plot thickens. Gabriel was granted a three-year extension to enforce his two patents, pushing the expiration to 2027. This extension, granted due to delays from the patent office, adds to the immense value of his patents. However, the road to success is rarely smooth. Gabriel found himself in a David versus Goliath scenario. He was up against tech giants like Google, Twitch, Microsoft, IBM, and Facebook, now known as Meta. The United States federal government appointed Judge Alan D. Albright, a Trump nominee, to preside over the case. In a surprising move, Judge Albright dismissed Gabriel's initial set of patent infringement lawsuits. It seemed like a setback, but with the second child patent still in play, Gabriel had another card up his sleeve. The legal battles were fierce, the stakes high, but Gabriel stood his ground. He was ready to defend his invention, his brainchild. He was ready to fight for what was rightfully his. A showdown was brewing, a showdown unlike any other. As the plaintiff, Gabriel was ready for a showdown, a $720 billion patent showdown. The pursuit of justice, much like the pursuit of dreams, is often riddled with obstacles. This sentiment rings especially true in the face of Gabriel de la Vega Jr.'s patent showdown. He's not just up against any old adversaries, but tech titans like Google, Amazon's Twitch, Microsoft, IBM, and Facebook, which in a swift move, rebranded to Meta upon hearing of Gabriel's intent to sue. The first round of this fight saw Gabriel's initial patent infringement cases dismissed. The man behind this dismissal was none other than Judge Alan D. Albright, a federal appointee nominated by former President Trump. In a rather casual manner, Albright dismissed Gabriel's cases, leaning on the first issued patent and completely disregarding the second child patent issued later. The phrase fishing buddies was even used to describe the defendant's lawyers in Gabriel's lawsuits, indicating a questionable level of familiarity. The dismissal of these initial cases, each worth billions, painted a grim picture of the pursuit of justice. It was a stark contrast to the founder's vision of equal rights for all under God, a vision that seems to be fading in the United States as we approach the end of 2023. But the story doesn't end here. Gabriel's second child patent, which offers additional legal protection, is set to expire in 2027. This gives him a renewed opportunity to take the first set of patent infringers back to court. This fight isn't merely about the billions at stake, it's also about standing up against the tech giants that have long dominated the industry. This is a battle that transcends the tech world. It's a fight for justice, for the recognition of individual contributions in a sea of corporate giants. It's about a Mexican-American tech genius, a U.S. Coast Guard veteran, standing tall against the odds, ready to continue his fight for justice. With a renewed opportunity to take the infringers back to court, Gabriel stands tall, ready to continue his fight for justice.